Hi, this is Lexi Buckner and Michaela Denmark, reporting for the last episode of Season 2. <laughs> What's wrong? It's the last episode for Season 2. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you crying? Because I'm a strong girl. <laughs> Don't worry, Lexi. We're all here for you. I just need a moment. One second. Just wait. We don't have all day, Lexi, so hurry up and fix your makeup. Okay, I'm good. I'm back. Anyway, Circus Hills has been pumping in a lot of effort into their performance. They have some skills. They have some skills, but I have mad skills. Just look at me juggle. Just, just stop. Let's juggle over to Lola Areggi and Kristen White with the Circus Hills performance. Just stop with the cheesy jokes. Hey, Christine, I guess I signed a brand new trick. You want to see it? Sure. So, what'd you think? One, aren't you supposed to catch the flip stick? And two, we still have a show to do. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, this is Christina White. And Lola Aregi. Reporting on, guess what? Circus skills. Nope. Wait, yeah. Hey, Christina, weren't you in that performance too? Yeah, didn't you see me? I was in the light show, advanced juggling. I had a speaking part with Mariah. Okay. We get it. You were there. But I'm going to need you to show me some clips to refresh my brain. TBH, a.k.a. to be honest, just for Coach Lower. I didn't know you had a brain. Just show me the clips. <laughs> Wow, I did a really great job with blowing that air horn in Ethan's ear. Did you see me? No. Oh, come on. We're almost out of time anyways. Yeah, I guess you're right. This has been Christina White. And Lola Aregi reporting for our last episode of WBE-TV. Back to Lexi and Michaela. And no, Kristen, it doesn't rhyme. In the studio. Hey, Michaela. What do you want now? I want a unicorn, a Barbie, one of those big pink Barbies, an iPhone, and, and I, I didn't mean it like that. I meant, what did you want to tell me? Oh, yeah. The picnic's right around the corner. Speaking of picnic, I'm hungry. Me too. Let's bring it to Reagan Langston and Layla Pearson with the picnic report. Hi, this is Layla Pearson and Reagan Langston reporting for WBETV. We're reporting on the family picnic. It was a blast. You got that right. I'm always right. Yeah, I sure you are, Reagan. Watch 26 to the power of 16. I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, sure you will. The picnic was on May 12th. It was a success. Lots of WBE family showed up. This has been Layla Pearson. And Reagan Langston. Back to the studio. Yeah. You know who my favorite superhero is? Who? The Wolverine. <laughs> Speaking of superhero, the super great Bobcats for the month of April and May. I am so pumped up for my championship game. We are going to kick some tails. Hiya! Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. We're supposed to be talking about basketball, not volleyball. Do you even know anything about basketball? Uh, yeah, lots. Who won the NCAA 2015 March Madness Championship? <sighs> LeBron James. You're right, because LeBron James is a team. Yes, I knew I was right. Let's just bring it to some real experts, <coughs> not you. Let's bring it to Javen Cuck, Moses Narrows, and Ethan Turner with the Bracketology Report. It's Ethan's and Javon's and the ones. Whoa. Dude. It doesn't work for your name. So just stop. Okay. okay. It's Ethan's and Javon's.
I'm a one. Seriously. We told you to stop. Do you have to ruin everything, Mo? It's Ethan and Javen. And Mo reporting for WBE TV. And today we're talking about Bracketology. Woo! Wasn't it March like two months ago? Oh my gosh. Do you have to ruin everything? It's called a recap huh? on the upsets. Oh, upsets? All right. Well, don't remind me about the UAB and Iowa State. Aww. Oh, one point. One point. Defense. Oh, defense. Defense wins games. Okay, we got Dayton and Providence. 11 seed, 6 seed, go. Oh, I had them in the Elite 8. Oh, no. Dang it. No. <gasps> Did you guys see the villain over and see that? Uh oh. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, come on, come on. It's just an upset, okay? We'll get through it together, okay? But I'm really upset about the upset. Well, there's always next year. Yes. Here. Did you guys see the Kentucky, Wisconsin? Yeah! <laughs> you wanted Kentucky? They needed to lose for once. I know, but I had them winning it all. You're messed up in the brain, Mo. Messed up. Big time. But who'd you guys have winning at all? I had Kentucky. I had Philadelphia. I had Duke. Booyah! Wait, wait, what's wrong? You probably changed it after they won. Yeah, cheater. Okay, but I just wanted to be a winner for once, okay? okay. Uh, well... Let's end this. Okay. It's been Ethan's. And Javon's. And Milan's. We said it didn't work. That's your. You don't get to say that. Get out. Get out, please. Okay. Back to the studio. Yeah. I am so lucky they have a day representing. Mwah. It's leadership day, not Lexi's a leader day. But I am a leader. That's true. Let's just bring it to McKenna Flores and Eva Wood with the Leadership Day Report. Hi, this is Eva Wood and McKenna Flores reporting for WBE-TV. Today we're talking about Leadership Day. We had a lot of people speaking for Leadership Day. You forgot someone. Who? I didn't even say any names. Oh yeah, let's talk about something else like Classy Cats. They performed at Leadership Day and so did Circus Skills. My favorite show in Circus Skills was the Glow the Light Show and the Golfing. Mine too. Let's go interview some students and ask them what they thought about Leadership Day. Hi, I'm here with Xander Corkin, Corkins who spoke at Leadership Day. Xander, what was your favorite part in Leadership Day? Performing for the adults in Classic Cats. And also that um, is cla my class got to have adults in the room when we did our project. I'm here with Mackenzie who spoke at Leadership Day. Mackenzie, what was your favorite part of Leadership Day? My favorite part at Leadership Day was probably circus skills. I'm here with Ethan, who spoke at Leadership Day. Ethan, what was your favorite part of Leadership Day? My favorite part was, uh, it'll have to be performing in the Circus Skills and Classy Cats performances. Well, Leadership Day sounds so much fun. I can't wait till next year's Leadership Day. Well, this has been McKenna Flores and Eva Wood, reporting for WBE-TV. Back to the studio. I can't wait to go to middle school next year. Don't talk about that. You're going to make me cry. Yeah. I don't miss all the fun memories we had here. Let's bring it to Shayla Phillips and Kylie Crossman with the fifth grade send-off. <laughs> Hi, this is Shayla Phillips and Kylie Crossman with the fifth grade send-off. This is like the saddest week ever. Why? Because this is our last W episode and we're leaving for middle school. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Me neither, but we kind of have to. Okay, but the fifth graders have really enjoyed our time here. Yeah, let's see if some students and teachers agree. We are here with Mr. Callahan. So, Mr. Callahan, have you enjoyed your year? I have. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. What is your favorite memory? Uh, I think either d doing science experiments. We had one with Mentos and uh, blowing up some pop outside. 
and then probably throwing the egg against the whiteboard. <laughs> that, that was kind of messy. <laughs> Thank you. We are here with Mr. Johnson. So, Mr. Johnson, have you enjoyed your time with this fifth grade group? I would say that is a fair thing to say. I think they know how I feel about them. <laughs> and what's your favorite memory with this group? I think hands down the thing I'll always remember is the end of fourth grade when we did the Missouri History program and even though I like to deny it, they kind of brought me to tears a little bit with the last song that they did. Thank you. We are here with Ms. Johnson. So Ms. Johnson, what is your favorite memory with this group? My favorite memory was probably the fifth grade performance. I loved watching everybody rehearse and get ready for that and I loved to see the amazing job that they did. I'm here with Mrs. Claxton. So, Mrs. Claxton, what's your favorite memory with this fifth grade group? It's really hard to pick just one favorite memory. Um, I think that I'm just going to miss the most this group of kids. You guys are a wonderful fifth grade group, probably one of the best fifth grade groups that we've ever had, and I'm really going to miss all of you. I'm here with Carissa. So, Carissa, what's your favorite memory with fifth grade? Probably most of the teachers and all the events we get to do. I'm here with Raven Ernest. Raven, what is your favorite memory in fifth grade? My favorite memory is uh, meeting all my, is the very beginning of the school year when I met all my new friends. I'm here with Brigham Kali. So, Brigham, have you, what's your favorite memory with this fifth grade group? I think my favorite memory is just being a part of this group and such a great group they are and just getting the thrill of transition. I'm here with Maddox Norman. So Maddox, what is your favorite memory this year? My favorite memory in uh, fifth grade probably was uh, when Seven Habits came. I'm here with Coach Lark. So Coach, are you going to miss us? Yes, I will miss the fifth graders quite a bit. Okay, and are you going to cry? <laughs> uh, I'm, tr I'm working on holding that back. I'm here with Mrs. Alderman. So, Mrs. Alderman, what's something you would like to say to the fifth graders? Work hard. No, really, I'm just joking. I would like to say in all seriousness that you guys have been such wonderful students to work with for the last, I've been here for, this is my third year, so you were what, third graders? No, second graders. What were you? Uh, second. Yes. Were you second graders when I came? Second graders. And I don't know. I think you might have been third grade. No, you were second graders. So anyway, back to this. I just have enjoyed watching you guys grow and learn, and you're so respectful and so, so talented. And I just hope that you don't ever let anybody tell you that you're not good enough to do something, that you are motivated to keep working hard, and that when you're 21, you come back to see Mrs. Alderman, and you give her a high five and say, tell me all the great things that you've done with your life. I might be walking with a cane by then but I would still give you a high five. I'll put the cane aside, high five you, do a cheer, and say, rock on. I know you're gonna do great, and I will miss you and love you. So long. Thanks for joining us here on the last episode of season two. This has been McKenna Flores, Reagan Langston, Moses Narrows, Eva Wood, Layla Pearson, Ethan Turner, Kylie Cosman, Lola Oregi, Shayla Phillips, Kristen White, Javen Cook, Lexi Buckner, and Michaela Denmark. Reporting for the last episode of season two. Have a great summer. Oh, rock a lot. LeBron, guys. I'm done. <laughs> Fail. <laughs>